Certainly with my team, I learned more about them when they started working remotely than I did when I was working face to face to them. Hi, in this time when uh, people are working more and more remotely, um, people are scattered across the globe, uh, whole teams are made up of people from across the, the planet in some places. Um, the whole business of being able to uh, be aware of, of uh, how your people are doing, are they, are they comfortable, are they happy with their job, are they, what are they doing, uh, has become more important than it ever has. And the skill to be able to do it is becoming uh, more important as well. Taking the time, I find, to just uh, reach out to people and understand what they're going through, uh, particularly if they're working from home. Uh, working from home means that there is uh, issues in their personal life that are literally uh, feet away from them in the next room, even in the room they're in. And those could be ha things that are having an impact on their lives and the way they can perform in, in your organization. So being able to talk to them, being able to listen to them, be able to ask the questions. Um, you know, certainly with my team, I learned more about them when they started working remotely than I did when I was working face to face to them. And we accomplished that through um, having regular meetings, but having uh, some fun moments in the meeting where we would uh, talk about something. What's your favorite movies? We'd have a theme for the week. And what's your favorite movies this week? Or um, what's your favorite food and why? Or where's your favorite holiday destination? Where's the one place you've always wanted to, to, to visit or go to? And by discussing these and what's your favorite music and so forth and why, you get to have a greater appreciation of that individual and what's important to them and what's going on in their lives. And that is extremely important and helpful in understanding are they happy in their job, are they giving of their best, are they capable of giving their best under the circumstances they're in, uh, and so forth. So I'm just asking you to, th and to think about that because I see a lot of leaders walking around with their eyes wide shut. Um, you know, they, they think they're seeing everything, but in fact their eyes are closed and because something's right in front of them, something's very close to them. And then they suddenly get a shock when that person leaves or that person's performance drops or there's an issue with a client that revolves around something that that individual's done. So are you walking around with your eyes wide shut or are you really there uh, knowing and understanding what is going on in the minds of your people? I hope that's been a help, helpful thought. See you next time. Bye now.